Hey guys! Remember to like and subscribe to follow all the challenges. Okay, so if you just sit comfortably in cross leg position, this would be more for beginners. So you can just loosen the feet apart so they're not on top of each other and just relax side to side. Just a gentle push in the knees. And this is going to help loosen up the hips. If you want to make it a wee bit more advanced, if you're not getting enough of a stretch there, just bring the feet together and just the same motion. Okay, so if it feels okay on either, you're working the same stretch, mobility exercise, just working it side by side, relax into it. And it should just feel like a nice stretch. So we're going to walk it forward. Keep the back nice and straight. Again, it shouldn't feel painful in any stretch. This is just gently bringing it down and you're going to feel it in the hip area. Loosen it up, breathe in through the nose and big long exhale and just bringing it down. So you just want to go down as far as comfortable. So if it's slightly pinchy or anything, you can just loosen the stretch up. And you can go back into the first exercise and just side to side and loosen it up a wee bit more in between and do them individually and walk it down forward. Each time, if it feels okay to, you can get a wee bit further. A long exhale and bring it back up again. Excellent. And we're just going to shake it out. Lovely. We're now going to straighten out a leg and bend the opposite leg. So we're going to use either our hand or our elbow for the bent leg. And we're just going to gently push the knee away. And we're going to lean out towards the straight leg with pointed toes. So we're not pushing the legs back as far as they'll go in pain. We're just a nice good stretch. Okay, so they can be slightly in and just a gentle push. Feel the stretch and hold it there and breathe. And we're going to bring it up and we're going to bring the bent leg behind. If that's a wee bit too difficult, bring the legs in closer together and then bring the leg back. Just bring the leg out to the side. And now we're going to walk it forward so that the hips are even to the knees. OK, so in other words, you don't want to be sitting back into it. You want to walk yourself forward until the hips and knees are all in line. Bring it down just as far as comfortable for you. These are different variations. So you can stay up with the arms up tall. You can bring it down to the elbows or you can bring it right down to the chest, which is going to be a lot more advanced. So just take your time, breathe. And then just if it feels OK, you can get a wee bit lower after 20 or 30 seconds. Just hold it. We're going to swap the legs over now into our bent leg straight leg. So we're doing the opposite side. And again, just bringing the legs back as far as comfortable. And just a gentle push to the knee and stretch it out to the straight leg. Point the toes. Feel that stretch and hold. Breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Feels okay too. You can just give it a wee extra push just millimeters and then hold it again and breathe stretch it out towards those toes relax it down and we're going to bring it up bring that bent leg behind remember you can bring the legs in first if that feels a wee bit too difficult walking the hips forward and remember you can stay up in this one your hips don't have to go right down just yet that will take time make sure the hips are alongside the knees you can keep the arms up straight. You can bring them down to the elbows. And for those of you who have done stretching like this before, you can bring it down to the chest. A lot more advanced, just if it feels okay too. Excellent. And we're going to bring it up. We're going to turn around to face the bent leg. And we're going to bring it into our lunge position. And we're just going to say hello to the muscles. Lighten it up, bring it back and forth. So we're going to lunge and then straighten the leg very, very lightly for now. Breathe, just bringing it down gently. And then we're just going to hold that stretch. So again, you don't want to keep pushing down and down whenever you're in the stretch. You just want to find a good stretch and hold it there. And you're feeling this in the hip of the back leg. And breathe. It's a nice stretch. You can use your yoga blocks either side of the hip. 
Just be careful not to use gravity too much and push down more than your body wants to go. And if it feels okay to, big long exhale and you can just let the body sink down a little bit further. Don't push it. It should just be a sink. Make sure the foot isn't behind the knee. You want to bring the foot forward, knee above the ankle. You can use your front leg for balance. Breathe it in and hold. And again, if it feels okay to, exhale and just sink down a little bit further. Place the hands in front. Remember to keep the back nice and straight. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Try not to arch the back and bring the head down. If here is far enough, you can just keep the hands on the hips. Keep the back nice and straight. Remember, always start with the waist and bring it down. We're not starting with the head first, arching down. And again, you can use the yoga blocks. You can bring the yoga blocks up either side of the front foot. You can give that front leg a wee wiggle if it feels particularly tight behind the leg. And you can do that as many times as you want and just hold the stretch. And you can hold that for as long as comfortable for you. And you can go back into your lunge. You don't have to hold them just as long. So we're going to turn it round and we're just going to say hello to the stretch. Just loosen the muscles and breathe. And then we're just going to sink it down. Try not to keep pushing down into the stretch. Use yoga blocks if you need to. And breathe. Just hold it there. Breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. So you're using those muscles. And then if it feels okay to, big long exhale. And just millimetres, just sink it down. Excellent. If you need to, you can just loosen it up. Just bring it up and down. And you can go into the opposite stretch as well. Just as far as comfortable for you. And then we're going to straighten the front leg. You can give it a wee wiggle. And you can use your yoga blocks at the either side of the front foot. So you're just loosening up the leg. If the leg doesn't want to straighten, if there's a wee bit of a bend in it, that's okay. Don't try and push it further than it wants to go. Listen to your body and just relax down as far as comfortable. Keep the back straight. Try not to arch it down. Start with the middle. And just go down as far as comfortable for you. So if you're still upright, that's good. Just keep going. A little, a lot, shouldn't be painful. And if it feels okay to straighten the back and you can just bring the yoga blocks out further as you feel okay to loosen it down and breathe. Just relax in it. And remember, you can just move that knee up and down. Try and hold it 10, 15 seconds. And if it is feeling a little painful or a little too tight at the back of the leg, Try not to overstretch, just loosen it up a wee bit. And we're going to turn it around, swap the legs over. Say hello to the muscles, loosen it up if you need to. And use those yoga blocks and bring it down. If you're going for a more advanced stretch, you don't need to use the yoga blocks. You can raise your arms beside the ears up above the head. And we'll go into that more in my other videos. Just relax it down. Hold the stretch. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. You can come out of it there or if it feels okay to, big long exhale and just sink it down. Just let the body relax. Let the muscles loosen. Sink it down a little bit further just as far as comfortable for you it's not a push and relax enjoy the stretch you can lower down the yoga blocks if it feels okay and then we're going to bring it out and straighten that front leg and breathe We're going to flex the front foot, so toes up to the ceiling, 
this is going to feel like a completely different stretch to the back of the leg. You, some of you might find this particularly intense. So just go as far as comfortable. You might want to bring the back back up again and then just relax down into it. As far as comfortable for you. Give the leg a wee wiggle again. And then just relax it down. So even if your leg was straight with the toes pointed, if it doesn't want to straighten like this, just take your time and it will. And one last time, we're going to bring it up and turn it over opposite leg into our lunge. So you should feel the muscles really warming up now, feeling that stretch really loosened up. And then sink it down as far as comfortable for you. So hands on the hips if it feels okay to, or use those yoga blocks if it is still intense. Bring it down, find that stretch, hold it. I'm going to breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Big long exhale, sink it down just slightly if it feels okay to, and then hold it there and breathe. So you're using the muscles in this, squeeze, hold it there, long exhale, let it relax down, just let the muscles loosen up. Excellent. Bring the yoga blocks in and bring it back and loosen the legs if you need to. If not, you can go straight into it if it feels okay. Straighten the legs as much as comfortable. Breathe. Excellent. And then we're going to flex the foot, bring the toes up to the ceiling. And remember, you can bring it up first and then go down into it. So give that leg wee wiggle if you need to. And don't worry if you're not getting down just as much as you were whenever the toes were pointed. Just bring it down as far as comfortable for you. And relax. Slow breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. Just take your time with it. We're going to come on up and loosen up the legs. And we're going to go into our splits as far as comfortable for you. So use the yoga blocks if you have them or keep the hands by the waist. Try and keep the back nice and straight. OK, so we're going to keep the hips square. And if this is where you are, you can keep the yoga blocks up at height. If it's OK, you can bring them down just to wherever you are at at the minute. And then even if you are right down to the ground, remember, you can still feel a wee bit of pressure at the back of the legs in this. So use the yoga blocks until you don't need to anymore. So don't push it down more than your body is ready for. Relax, hold it, and breathe. And we're going to swap the leggies over. And you can try that again on the opposite side or if you're ready and it feels comfortable all the way down to the ground. And obviously you want to do this for a while. You can try the over split. So you can try yoga block or even something smaller. And relax it down. If it feels okay. Thank you guys.